Hello everybody, Super Tim 101 here with another build review. This series is where I go over my favorite mechs and my favorite builds, whether they are considered meta or not. And today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite mechs that I've written one build review of uh, this chassis, but not this variant, the Execution Executioner Cherby. The Executioner is a 95 clan omni mech, and it is uh, typically associated with clan Ghost Bear. It was a uh, one of their uh, signature mechs. It was, they tried to combine it with their totem mech, the Kodiak, and it just didn't work. Maybe I'll get that, what that means in a different video, but uh, it's been one of my favorite mechs since Mech Warrior 2, where I would just put a bunch of PBCs on it and uh, shoot everything with lightning. It was great. And so this build is very similar in a lot of ways. Uh, it's also a little bit different. Um, the Executioner is a really, really tall mech. Uh, so it's kind of easy to hit. It's it's wide. Um, it does have interesting sort of holes here where people can miss shots and things. Um, and you've got a little bit of a of some shield arm, uh, although like this one is good for shielding, ar shielding, but you do house a lot of weapons in this arm. And this one's not as good. You can still hit your side torso. But, um, but this mech is a lot of fun. Uh, it is, I would guess, can be considered a bracket build, meaning that it is effective in different range brackets. Uh, that is usually not what you want in MechWarrior Online. Usually you want a uh, singular bracket and just specialize and be really good at what you do. Uh, but this mech um, feels more kind of bracket buildish, and I have a couple build reviews up like that already. Uh, you've got uh, with different learn mechs and things, but uh, really this mech um, uh, <clears throat> has these two ERPPCs and then these two power fists full of lasers, and uh, it's really effective. Um, I would say this, uh, is, as far as executioners go for quick play, this is close to what a, uh, a normal standard executioner build would look like. So um, it's a lot of fun. I really, really like executioners in this game, but it does have some shortcomings. One of those, like I said, is being really tall and wide, uh, another is it doesn't have a whole lot of space for weapons because it has a bunch of fixed equipment. So let's jump into the mech lab and check that out. So that fixed equipment is the mask, clan mask, as well as uh, four uh, jump jets. And each jump jet is two tons. So we're talking eight tons just in the jump jets of uh, fixed tonnage. So you might have 95 tons to work with, but... Um, Four tons of that is the mask, and eight tons of that is the jump jet. So, really, you don't have as much as another uh, assault might have. But it gives you really good mobility for a 95 assault mech. I mean, you already run... You also have a huge engine. I mean, it's a Clan XL380. So your engine is already gigantic for a, a, an assault. You go 64.8 plus mask. You can go really fast in the execution. This one runs the two ERPPCs, and then four small lasers in one fist, and three in the other. You do, um, I don't actually think you need the Churby for this, uh, it's a left arm. No, you can use the A. You can use the, the Executioner A, Alpha, left arm, uh, and you can get um, this on any, any Executioner. Um, one build uses the Delta right arm for the seven uh, energy hard points, and you put a bunch more ER micros in this. But I like to shoot from a little bit further range. I noticed when I was playing that build that I uh, I would shoot my micros before they were even in uh, in maximum range because I just wanted to shoot. So I changed these to the ER smalls, and 70 ER smalls does give you a little bit more ghost heat, uh, but it's it's a hot mech. Uh, it's it's spicy. The ER PPCs are uh, already a hot weapon system, and then a little bit of ghost heat for the small lasers uh, does you know punch it into pretty pretty hot territory, pretty toasty. Um, so you got to manage your heat pretty well, but you've got the ranged to fire at the beginning of the match. You've got the jump jets to get you into like sniper positions. You can pop tart with it. Um, the 
mask gets you into places where you can get those small lasers online and start scalping uh, components off. It is really just a fun and effective mech to play. Um, it's a little bit low, 0.2 uh, tons low, but you're at full slots and uh, full weapons. So, uh, yeah, um, let's go ahead and jump into the skills and check out what we're running. Uh, so you want a uh, cooldown because the ERPPCs cool down pretty slow. Uh, so you want to boost that. Um, you want your heat gen. It's a very toasty mech. You want as much possible. You want velocity for your PPCs. They end up being your primary weapon system. You're going to spend most of the match pop targeting, so you want your velocity high. I did put laser duration. Um, it helps with the cooldown and the duration of the lasers because the cooldown doesn't start until the laser has finished firing, so you get the full laser duration. Um, if you didn't want these, it's not a huge deal, um, but I think it's important. And then uh, some, some leftover points into range. Um, Full skeletal density, full armor hardening, your own assault, boost those numbers for your hit points. Uh, cool run, heat containment, because you're toasty, you want that. Uh, seismic sensor, standard, because you um, you want to know if something's creeping up on you. And then I did go full radar deprivation, because you are a pop tart, so you pop up, fire your PPCs, drop that down, and immediately break a lock. So that just helps uh, make sure that you stay hit. And then, of course, the value slot, and the extra consumable slot. So, like I said, it's a really fun mech. Uh, you can run this on any executioner, um, and uh, it will it will serve you well. One of the best executioners uh, in the game. So, why don't we jump into the game, and I'll see you there. Quickest way for me to double his money, fold it over once before he puts it back in his wallet. Target acquired. Target spotted. Uh oh, there's a viper there with you. Uh, right, the idiot threw the helm. I love people that think that staying back is the best. Target, target helpful. Target spotted. Then, then they engage in their turns. Way too many missiles for me to step out there. New target acquired. How about this? So all this time in the game, have they yet to sell a little uh, a little decorative cr uh, crown we can buy for Echo Fox guys. Four guys? They got a they line, got a line going right, right in front of you. Man, I just keep, Man, backing, I just keep up backing up in a fucking explosion. New target acquired. Push, Push to me. To me. New target acquired. Aren't our lives Aren't supposed our lives to be lives gathering lives resources and stuff? They are, they are all over, over that wall, Echo acquired. 4, Fox, Fox 4, guys. Chet Manley, 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 Manley. New target acquired. Target spotted. New target acquired. Yeah, getting some Viper on Viper action. Dude. I'm getting more than that. New target acquired. <laughs> I'm fucking getting ganked here, guys. I'm trying to help you. New target acquired. Target <sighs> That's a lot of missiles. Target spotted. New target acquired. New target acquired. <laughs> yeah, Jack, I'm looking at my Nightstar right now. With a light 345 engine. Acquired. And if I you if I put all five speed tweak into it, it puts it at 63.2 in speed. New target acquired. Kevin Nance got behind us F6. New target acquired. So you can get a pretty speedy ra uh, night start. Warning incoming missile. Yep, I 
for six. Target spotted. Yeah, they got out and they all their whole team decided to go left. <laughs> Which is cool because our whole team decided to go right. This is a fast night star. Me and uh, my lance mate are going on a long, uh, New target. long roundabout okay. push. So if we come and hit him from a different direction, y'all have to push him. Uh, there was a guy over there. I don't know where the fuck he went. Still. He's right here. He's right here. Where's here? Where's here? Where's here? I mean, if everybody's just gonna hide behind here, why don't we just hide in the base? You have a good point. Delta's pushing up. Yeah, yeah at this point in time, I suggest y'all be attacked with three back to the base. Target spotted. Target spotted. New target. Well, they're all fucking here. New target acquired. <laughs> New target acquired. Warning incoming missile. Heat level critical. Warning incoming missile. Heat level critical. Override shutdown. Warning incoming missile. Yep. Oh yeah. They're they're about to steamroll steam right through you. New target acquired. Heat level critical. Override shut down. New target. Keep working their flank. New target acquired. Target destroyed. Alright. I'm gonna go eat. Target acquired. Right on. New yeah, I'm gonna drop out. Acquired. If I watch them. I might be back. Target spotted. New target acquired. Hmm. <laughs> New target acquired. New target acquired. New target acquired. Heat level critical. Warning incoming missile. We're teaming items. Ah, ah. New target acquired. Game shit. Target acquired. Target destroyed. New target acquired. Target destroyed. New target acquired. Target spotted. Heat level critical. New target acquired. Heat level critical. New target acquired. Heat level critical. New target acquired. 
Target destroyed. Override shut down. I think the last two of those stealth armor uh, lights. We got low signal. Yep, it sure is. E6. Target acquired. Yeah, save your uh, Ultra AC-10 ammo. Just use your laser. At this point, I might as well start going towards their base. Target spotted. Fuel at 25%. Nice. Destroyed. All on the base. What is that, five now? Good come from behind, guys. Override engaged. At 25%. Come on, Keith, join us. Whew. Didn't realize my mic was muted for half of that. Mm -hmm. Not bad. <laughs> nice super. Oh crap. That was an intense match. That was a lot of fun. Uh, it, it, we came back. Um, I was able to use my range at the beginning, it's sort of a perfect storm of their big assault mechs kind of walking in the open, so I could snipe them with the PPCs, uh, and was able to kill that poor Fafnir, he wasn't even able to do any damage, just couldn't get into range for his, his uh, brawling weapons. Um, so you saw that, even though it's a bracket build, you can still basically uh, uh, be a Pop-Tart uh, for the majority of the game and, and get some damage out. With just your ERPPCs. Uh, two ERPPCs is by itself a fairly effective uh, weapon uh, uh, system. So um, it's it's not a bad mech. But then you add in the ER spawn lasers for when you get into close, like when those fleas attacked, uh, it, it's just even more effective. So um, that was a, a little bit of a weird game. Uh, they were up, I think, oh. We were down 03, and uh, we had to sort of regroup and um, fight back through that. Uh, just trying to use my mobility to keep range, uh, you know, like I was getting hit using my armor, you know, try to absorb those LRMs, but not push, and still try to get into cover so that uh, I could break the locks and not hit, get all the LRMs hitting me, uh, and still being able to fire my PPCs at those learn boats. Yeah, so use the mobility, uh, keep range to, to use your PPCs as much as possible, and then the ER lasers come online uh, later when the game's a little bit messier. Um, and once you get into that range, um, trying to use the ER PPCs and the small lasers at the same time, uh, you, you saw, is super hot. So usually what I try to do is you can get one shot of ER PPCs, uh, maybe two, really just one shot, and then you just switch to your ear, ear smalls and uh, start using the ear smalls as like uh, that close range weapon. If you start doing it too much with both, you overheat super quickly. And if you do that, you start blowing up components. So um, yeah, really fun, 
one one of my best games. Uh, really effective. Um, it's a great mech. I really highly suggest you you try it again. It can be it can be done on any executioner uh, with the right omnipods. Uh, so, but I one of my favorite mechs, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and have a great day.